Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my bi-weekly update. It's uh, Sunday, July 8th. And I still got a couple cracky plants and small bottles I need to do something with. I've got this caramel 7 pot in the air garden still. And I've got fruits on there, some starting to turn right. Vigilokia Inverta. It's doing pretty well. It's, I've been uh, having to change the nutrients uh, once a week and could probably even do more than that. But what I do is I add water in between. And um, right now, three gallons is about the le least I can get by with. Probably drinks that. I add a gallon in the middle of the week. And there's still, by the end of the week, there's a big pH shift. And just because it's getting to be a large plant. And. Um, Quite a few fruits on there. Now it's kind of all spread out. Got a lot of new flowers too. So trying to keep that going as long as I can. So, yeah, I've got the, uh, the absolute loudest uh, air pump there is. Okay. A little uh, fancy light test. There's the plant there in the DWC setup. Two King Star crosses and a 27 gallon float tote that I built. I've got a video um, upcoming for this this setup. There's a ricotto and a small wicking container. Got another it's a little, little pot on there. It's an MOA Scotch bonnet, another wicking container. And I'm going to get some fruits on this. I had plans to put this into something bigger, and I still probably will. I just haven't gotten around to it. Here's a little habanero in a small cracky bottle. I got some fruits on there. There's a few more back in there. This is my uh, Not Lightning Mustard Hab. When I grew it, it put out a bunch of chocolate fruits. They're really nice and big. And this has a bunch of peppers on it. I don't know what how they're going to turn out. But, uh, it's in a 10 gallon flow tote with about three gallons of solution hooked to maintained and hooked to a five gallon reservoir. I just put out a video and it's got a bunch of flowers and bud sites on it too. So that's looking forward to seeing how that does. Okay, here's my, uh, my main setup here, my drip plants. Um, these are still getting fed Donna Gray 795. This is my Blue Christmas crossed with Stavros. And quite a few peppers on there throughout. This is my other cross, the uh, Street Kitchen pepper crossed with Thai Dragon. And there's a lot of fruits on here. I think some are starting to turn. Seeing a little tinges of color change. It's the tallest pepper I've got right now is this Chiltep in yellow. And it's a real branchy plant and it's not nearly as productive as like an Archicheropita would be, which would produce a similar looking fruit, but but these do taste really good. I see now I've got a ripe one. This is really cool. I can get this to focus. There we go. And this is another Bidjalokia. 
fruits. It's got some fruits too. And it's fruits are similar size to the one I've got indoors. This is my, um, I'm not sure if I pronounced his name right, Hien V. It says strain of white tie. I got some of these turning turning ripe. And this is a, um, a Reaper Maruga Cross F4. It's a few pods. I've got some in my isolation bag. I need to go ahead and take this off and tag them. Um, this is the car caramel seven pot that I've got outside and it's got quite a few fruits I think there's some starting to turn a little bit of color on some of these. It's quite a few on there. And next to it I've got the uh, Peach 7 Pot. And this has got some really cool looking shapes on it. Some of these have little stingers. Some nice little clusters of fruit. And I've got few more right here. Let's see. Some more. There's my uh, Gorpion. Better angle the light here. These are going to be really hot. Fish pepper. It's a good example of the striped pod. Here's my Papuchito cross. These peppers have been pretty consistent. I have a large calyx, fairly small peppers, but they're very hot. This is a white boot W strain. A bunch of peppers on here. Really nice shapes on these. And this is my shishi toe. And just in two weeks, it's produced lots of pods. I have enough to um, to go ahead and pick and cook up now if I want. I'm just eating them unripe, which I normally do. But these are some of the best peppers. This is a chocolate goose jammy, and uh, well, the pot I saved seeds from was, but I'm not sure it may be crossed because that's some really awesome looking peppers on here. Here's my blue Christmas. A ton of new peppers that are purple. There's a bunch of um, ripe ones I need to go ahead and pick. A lot of these will get these little kind of speckles on them. It's really pretty. There's more there. 
Yeah, it's loaded. My hog's weed has finally taken off. It was kind of stunted, but it's it's starting to shoot up there. Here's my um, two of my Elysium oxide Scotch bonnets, and the one on the left has some fruits on it. There's one there. View in the background. And this is my uh, orange brain strain from Michael Christensen. And it's got a few on there as well. My daddle plant is taken off. Um, last year it had these kind of weird leaves um, kind of curled. I think it's just the plant, but it's got a bunch starting to produce there. This is a uh, Chocolabula DM strain. Got a whole ton of nice looking fruits on that. And then it's like a real productive strain. That's my uh, Chaco ends. It's a fairly dense plant. Um, it's like it's fruiting up really well. This is um, Banda Majoc Red. It's loaded up. I need to probably check this isolation bag. It's probably got some fruits. Here's my uh, Gochu. And it's got a whole nother wave of fruit, much more than the first round. This is a um, chocolate unreaper. And I think I've got one turning. Yeah. And, uh, some really gnarly peppers on that. This is a uh, Bigelokia crossed with Sugar Rush Peach. And it's pretty loaded. I need to put another stake because this is getting kind of weighted, weighted down. I want this to break off. Here's my hot banana. It's a bonnie plant that I grew. Got a bunch of really large fruits on there. Near the bottom this is a Star Racha Hornet from Kids at Kang Star Cross. Tail there. Another one. And this is Star Racha Bonnet. Another Kang Star Cross. And I had some really um, crazy pods. I haven't checked on these, but. those look really hot this is the JT yellow tie it's got a bunch of little fruits is a little skinny tie peppers and this is I believe the kink stars lemon starburst another kink star pepper that's some really nice looking fruits on here. Really good shapes on those. A few back in there. This is uh, Kangster Red. It's pretty loaded. This is the sick plant I've been showing and it's putting off lots of new growth and for the most part looking a lot better. I'm just going to let it go. But it's, um, it was my Jay's Rego Scorpion Cross. Had the yellow pheno pepper last year. This is uh, another um, white boot. That's the 
a guy named Herb, I forgot his last name. I got the seeds from Susan Garza. That's, that's out of different shape. These are more smooth and stuff. But here's a uh, another ricotta. And this is the same age as the one that's on the porch. And you notice how much bigger this is? Because it's in a system where its roots can really grow. It's got a lot of flowers new. I don't notice any pods yet. It might have a few. And this is my um, berry amarillo. And it's done lots of growing and it's put out another big wave of fruits. So these should be really good. They ripen up. Keep these weeded out a little bit. Um, yeah, so that's my bi-weekly update. Um, I dialed the nutrients back just a hair. Um, I'm running it 10 minutes twice a day now. So these little hippie systems kind of keep some of the stuff back so it's not as wasted. So it's working really well. I've seen a tiny tinge of color on that. Scorpions, hoping these will start to turn soon. Uh, anyway, that's um, where I'm at right now. I'll post another update in two weeks. Um, I've got some other other video I'm working on, but um, just wanted to show that. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you like that. Please like, comment, and subscribe.